Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix this particular error in R or R Studio. And the error is package or namespace load failed for, and then they will put the name of the package. Okay. So, for instance, if you are trying to install a package like um, read Excel, whichever package that you are trying to install, okay, ggplot2, whichever package that you are trying to install, and this error is to okay, you would see something like package or namespace load field for, and then they'll just put the name of the package they are installing. So if it's ggplot2, they'll put ggplot2 here, ggplot2, okay, or whichever package that it is. Now, basically, this error is all about, as the name suggests, or as stated, it's an error that has to do with um, uh, the, the package loading or the whatever, the namespace of the package loading, okay? We are not going to go into the details what it really it is because we don't know the technical details of it, but namespace simply is, you know, um, the environment in which all the functions of a given package live right this is i'm just quoting from the internet basically it's the internet i mean the you know you know r is an open uh, source software now these packages are developed and then uh, made accessible to all of us to use right now for whatever reason the um, the environment, okay, the IT environment in which the functions of your the given package live, there is simply a problem loading this particular namespace, right? That's the meaning, or the package itself. There's a problem loading it. That's why you may have this error occurring. Usually, after you install the package and then you say library into brackets, the name of the package, you may have this error, or it may occur during the installation process. So, I never actually knew this error until uh, one of my subscribers commented on one of my videos. So the video that I made was on how to, let's say, um, import a CSV file, sorry, an Excel file into R without converting it into a CSV or a text file. So when I made this particular video, and to do this, actually, you would need a package called Read Excel. So when I made this particular video, one of my subscribers commented so shout out to Anna okay thank you so much Anna for your comment because it's thanks to your comment that I'm making this particular video so she commented and said that um, what did she say she said she's experiencing this particular error when she tries to load the package with Excel so after she successfully in installed the package however when she tried to load the package by saying library into brackets, read Excel, then she, this particular problem started occurring. And you see, she was trying to load, she, she, she installed and she was trying to load a package, read Excel, and this is the error that occurred. So she just kept it in the comment section, um, package or namespace load field for, like I said, read Excel, which is a package that she's installing. Now, you notice that her R version is 3.6.3. .3. I'm not going to generalize and say, you know what, this is the bad version of R. But what does when I, I tried all the possible solutions that are available on the internet, and none of them seem to solve the problem, but I finally figured it out. And I would show you how I fixed it. It simply uh, comprises of, I mean, the solution consists of simply installing a newer version of R, okay, because she's using version 3.6.3, .3, which is not, it's like this, like 2021 version or so, or 2020, I'm not sure. So, what you need to do is simply go to your internet, okay. For instance, um, if let, just go to the internet, okay, let me let me show you, uh, she's using version 3.6.3, .3, right, and on my PC, I actually tried it. I also have this particular version, uh, 3.6.3. When I tried, I experienced the same error. I don't want to waste your time. But what I did was I simply upgraded the, or updated my R 
or what I did, I'll simply install a newer version of R. So this is a newer version, which is 4.2.2. Let me open it and show you. Okay, so in this particular newer version of uh, R, which is 4.6, sorry, 4.2.2, if I should say install.packages, into brackets the name of the package is read excel the same package that she installed probably yours is not uh, read sorry read excel probably yours is not read excel it could be ggplot2 any package at all that you are trying to install and you are experiencing this problem please follow the same steps and it should be able to work for you so let me just install the package i mean paris so i'll pick paris and pick ok it's just to prove to you that newer versions of R will not give you such issues. Okay, I hope the installation is done. Okay, perfect. Now let's try loading the package as she did. Okay, so we say library into bracket read into brackets read Excel. Let's see what is it saying. Oh, I'm sorry, I do not library into brackets read Excel. I did not write the name of the package very well. Okay, so you see that R hasn't given us any error, which suggests that R has successfully what loaded my package read Excel. You see so but this is a newer version of um, um of of r but she's using the older version which is version 3.6.3 now a quick way to install the newer version of r is to simply go to the internet okay S simply search um, i don't want to tell you that okay if you are let's say um, because this current version that I'm using, which is version 4.2.2, tomorrow might be the oldest version. Let's say in 2023 or 2024, this one will be an obsolete version. So anytime you want to install a newer version of R, you simply go to the internet, simply type, for instance, latest version. If I should say latest version of, let's say, R and hit enter. After doing that, you see that R has this is the latest version of R currently. So I can simply copy the name of this, open another tab, and say download or you just say install, install. Then you paste this, paste the name, yeah. Install R version 4.2.2, then hit enter. Once you do this, you find if you are using Windows, you select the right um, the, the right software, okay, and just download it and install it. And once you install it, the newer version of R, you no longer experience this particular problem.